If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good guys, morning to all of you. I pray you're having a blessed, beautiful morning because it is another day, beloved. That's right. The Lord has made and we will, we shall. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good guys, morning to all of you this morning that are on. God bless you. Good guys, morning to you. Good guys, morning to you. Good guys, morning to you. Can't tell you enough. Good guys, morning to you. Amen. Let's get our scripture for this morning. Our scripture this morning is going to be coming from Matthew. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. And it says, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Let me say it again. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well you know beloved we got it backwards we got it backwards good guys morning to all of y'all we've got it backwards when you come on say let me know you're here say hello um we've got it backwards we've got it backwards why do i say we got it backwards because we seek after everything else and God tells us clearly, seek me first. Seek me first. We, we, we go after, you know, the job, go after our career, go after, you know, education, go after our spouse, go after, you know, everything else but him. And it's only until we get to a place where things ain't working out for us is when we want to come running to God. If we saw him first, then everything else would fall into place. Now, get me wrong now. It's good to go, you know, have a drive and a zeal, you know, go, you know, get your get your education, you know, get that career. It's good. But make sure that you have it prioritized. You have God first, and then everything else is going to flow. I've said this one time before, that God has, you know, he, 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 he puts everything in place for us he's the word says that um all things are working for our good you know he 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 orchestrates our life he orchestrates the plan for our life he orchestrates things for our life and if we trust him and seek him first the plan all we have to do is follow it what happens is we want to do our own thing. We forget about what God is saying and God said, and we're like this. And, and, and don't get me wrong, God is with us. He's with us. He's with us. And he's like, oh, my God, when are they going to stop? <laughs> they making me dizzy. Woo. You know, we going this, this, this. And God said, listen, if you put me first, if you seek me first, I'll have everything It'll flow. It'll it'll come. It'll go in order. It'll go. But you know, as I always say, you know, even when we on the roller coaster, God is with us, and He allows everything to work together for good. Well, why go through all that when all we have to do is just seek out? It's interesting to me. I was talking to someone yesterday. Um, you know, it was having a, a bad day, I guess, and. You know, and they asked me to pray for him. And I'm like, well, what do you need me to pray, pray about? You know, just, you know, you don't have to tell me all of it if you don't want to. But what do you, have, what do you need me to pray about? And it was just about life. And, and it, you know, sometimes, you know, unless you're my member, I don't really, you know. But you, if you're my member, then, then I'm your, I'm your, I'm your, your, uh, your, um, 
you know, your shepherd and, and God has given me charge over you to tell you the right things and, you know, lead you in the right direction. And so I just came out and tell him, I was like, listen, you can't expect God to do what you want to do when you are consistently not doing what he's asked you to do. Here's the thing, beloved. Sometimes we'll tell God, oh, God, if you do this, if you do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to, you know, do that. Even certain things we say to 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 church, you know, we join a church, you know, but we're not even doing anything in the church. But you want God to do what you've been praying and you've been fasting and you've been doing this. But you're not upholding your end. You don't pay your tithe. Come on, come on, church. Come on, let the church say amen. You won't pay your tithe. You won't come to church. You won't participate in Bible study. Even if you're not in the building physically, you can at least be there online because there is no excuse now. God has made it uh, 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 where uh, you you can watch church online. Ooh. You don't even have to be in the physical building anymore. There is no excuse. You can pay your tithe online. Come on now. We, we want so much from God but yet we're not doing anything for him. We're not seeking him first. We don't pray. We don't read our Bible. We won't do nothing. But yet we want God to move mountains. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, and I'm glad God doesn't do us like, you know, man does. Because if you, you know, man, like you, you, you can't be getting that from me and you don't pay me no attention. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Huh? I ain't giving you nothing. You ain't giving me nothing. That's how man is. But God is not like that. But he is wanting us to seek him first. Someone said, what have you done for him lately? That's that That's that remix from um, Sister Act. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, what have you done for him? Do you only pray when you want something? Come on. Come on now. Hmm? You, you go about doing your own thing. You're just having a ball. You're having a party. Every day is a party. Every day is a, it's a, it's a fun time. You don't even think about God until something happens. Until you want something. Until you find yourself in a rock. With, between a rock and a hard place. Come on. We got to do better. God has been so good to us. He's been so great. He continues to do great things for us. He wakes us up every morning, starts us on our way, we in our right mind. You know, I, I used to hear that all the time in church. These old ladies, they used to get up and I thank God to be in my, my right mind. And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? Why are y'all always saying it? Now I understand, because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> God wakes us up and we're in our right mind. We can clothe ourselves. We can feed ourselves. We got the activities of our limbs. We're a, we're ha we have a job or we have some income coming in. We're, we're, we've been blessed. He is blessing us. He is not slack concerning his promises, but yet we're slack concerning him. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Get it together. Get your priorities straight. Stop trying to do it backwards and do it the right way. You said God called you, but yet you ain't doing nothing. Huh? Come on now. God called, God told me to come. God told me to be do this, do this, but yet you ain't doing nothing. We we go back on our word, but yet we want God to continue to keep his. Stop it. You get yourself in order first. And then watch God. Watch God. I don't care what 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 happens. You know, there's certain things that I make sure I do before I do anything else. There's just certain things I, I make sure I seek the Lord first before I do anything else. And whatever, if, 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 if doing what I, I have to do and, and prior to prioritizing what God has, has put charge over me, and, and, and if it lacks, you know, in other areas, so what? God makes up for it. I don't worry about it. You do what God has told you to do. What God has 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 told us to do in his word. What God speaks to us through our leaders. Hello. And watch him do what he what God says he'll do. Watch him handle the rest.
I'm in, I'm in pastor mode this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm in pastor mode, not the host of Good God's Morning, but I'm in pastor mode. And somebody needs to hear this this morning. You know, some of you who are on, you, you, you know, whatever church you go to, if you don't go to, go to my church, it, it, it still applies. If you are a member of a church, it still applies. You need to govern yourselves accordingly. Seek first the kingdom. Come on now. Let's get it together. It's 2021. It is, it is June, the last day of June, about to be in July. We're about to enter the, the next uh, um, half of the year. We've got to get it together. Get it together. That is what God is saying today. Get it together. Prioritize. Get your priorities straight. Stop asking and you ain't doing Tell the truth, Shane and Devil. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace and your love. We thank you for this moment of communion and fellowship with you and fellowship with the people of God. And Lord, we thank you for your word this morning. It told us to seek you first, the kingdom of God. Lord, if we understand that we can just seek you first, we can just pray, we can just, you know, do what is asked of us, that everything else will just fall in place. Cause and effect. Ha! Glory to God. We thank you, oh God, that if we just do what you've asked us to do, that all other things will be added unto us. God, we bless your name for you being faithful, you being consistent in our life. Lord, even we haven't been consistent and faithful to you, you have still not failed us. You still was right there. Hallelujah. But today, God, we want to be better. We want to do better. And so, God, give us that fire. Stir up the gift inside of us. Give us the zeal, oh God. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor for another chance. Hallelujah. Someone didn't get that chance, but God, you've given us another chance to get it right. And so, God, we are no longer without excuse. We're no longer without excuse. We're no longer without excuse. We rebuke procrastination. We rebuke all other spirits and all other things that try to block us and stop us and hinder us. God, we rebuke laziness. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke poverty. We rebuke the devil, whatever he's trying to tell us. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And we call those things that are not as though they were in Jesus' name. We give you glory today, God. We thank you for bless those who are on this morning. Bless those that are watch this later. And God bless those that may have already been on this morning. That they too will prioritize and put you first. We give you glory. We magnify your name, God, because you deserve it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, beloved. Good God's morning to you. Y'all say good morning to Lady Karen. God bless you. Good God's morning to you, Sister... Tanya Montague, God bless you. Good God's morning, Tamika. Good God's morning, Felicia. Good God's morning, Michelle and Satchel. Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning, Shelly. Good God's morning. Good God's morning. Good God's morning, Reggie Wells. Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning. Good God's morning. Good God's morning, Kanita. Good God's morning, Bobby. Good God's morning. I think I got everybody. Good God's morning to all of y'all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Most churches have Bible study on Wednesday. So if you just heard what I said, you need to get in Bible study. If you can't get to the location, you can always live scream. Praise God. <laughs> Good God's morning to you. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And we'll see y'all tomorrow the same time. The same place for another good guys morning morning. Listen, happy birthday to AJ Fryson. AJ, happy birthday to you. God bless you. You you have a beautiful day, and we love you. All right, good guys morning to all of you. Again, y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. We love you, first lady, and I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. We'll see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place for another good guys morning moment. Good guys morning to you. God bless you. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.